Hey traders, welcome to E-Trade Waves weekly forex forecast. We hope all of you made money last week. As usual, we will start with dollar index, DAXY, we will cover few majors along with US oil, gold, silver, and Bitcoin. The time frame that we are using here is 4 hours. And during the video, I'll be giving you tips and advices which will help you with your trading. So all of you who are new to WeTradeWaves channel, subscribe, hit the bell icon to not miss any update, and let's dive into the charts. DXY, for this one, most of you know the story behind this drop and behind this up wave to take liquidity above these highs. And we really hope all of you trade DXY, get in the sell and made money with this down wave. Those of you who are new, go back and watch our previous video. Last week, we were expecting market to give us a corrective structure, one push up, the last up wave, and then the big drop. This last up wave, it was not needed for the structure anyway, and we said every cell setup we get, we will go for it. We get our cell setup here. Most of our traders who were following DXY to the downside, they got in the cell, in this one, or they bought one of the majors. This was at the start of the week. So we've got this drop, Market gave us a small corrective structure, another drop here, after the ECB meeting. This was an FB, and we were expecting DXY to shoot up anyway. Do we have a proof for that? Keep watching till the end guys, and I'll show you proof step by step. Before that, we really hope all of you trade DXY, get in the sale, and made money with this drop. Now, what next? For us, we'll be looking for our buy setups, for DXY, either from current levels or from under this low. If market will be going down to break this low, we will be looking for our buy setups only. So all of you are in the sale, pay attention, manage your trades, take profits, and wait for the next setup. Are we going to jump in under this low if market will fall? No, we will look for our buy setups under this low. Is this drop needed for the structure? No, it's not. So for us, every buy setup we get for DXY, we will go for it. All right, guys? Euro dollar for this one, this was amazing. Also here, we were expecting market to give us a corrective structure and potential one more drop before the up wave. Market gave us a buy setup and then it shoot all the way up. Most of our members who trade Euro dollar get in the buy exactly from the low. We said to you last week, this drop is not needed for the structure and every buy setup market was giving us, we took it. Now, after this up move, market gave us a small corrective structure, the ECB meeting was here, they took decision about monetary policy and they might rise interest rates early than expected this year and Euro went all the way up to 1.1450 levels. Now, on Friday, there was an FP news here, and we said, guys, Euro dollar will fall. This was scalping trade, market dropped during an FP, so you must be able to make money in this drop or to get out for break even. What next? All of you get in the buy from here, now is the time, guys, to be very careful and manage your trades. Why is that? From now onwards, any sell setup we get for your dollar, we will go for it. Do not jump in, this can go all the way up to 1.15, 1.15, 20 levels, and we'll check the price action. After this up move, a drop will be coming. Now, especially this Sunday, and for our in-depth analysis service members, T will explain you the story behind this pattern, he will go with you step by step, wave by wave, and he will explain you why we are expecting market to drop here. So those of you who are interested in our in-depth analysis service, you can check the details in the description under this video. Pound dollar for this one, you know we were biased to the upside, from these levels or from under this low. After this up move, we've got a corrective structure, 
and here we were having BOE meeting. After that, market went all the way up. This up move, it was expected. Market stopped here, and then it went all the way down. Why market stopped here? This is something related to smart money concept that we teach. After that, we've got this drop, and this was during an FP. So let me go with you again step by step. We were expecting market to go up last Saturday. Market went up. After the correction, we were expecting BOE to push it up. After this up wave, market dropped, and we were expecting an FP to drop market down. Do we have a proof for that? Sure. This was the midweek review analysis email that we sent to our in-depth analysis members on Wednesday. And this was before BOE meeting and before NFP. So, coming back to here, and what next? We're expecting market to correct upwards for another drop. So for pound dollar, we are biased to the downside. If you wanna go for this buy, it's up to you. For us, we might ignore this buy setup, and we will go for every sell setup market will give us. Aussie dollar for this one, most of you are following us since the past few months. You know the story behind this five waves corrective structure, this drop to take liquidity under these lows, and this up wave of last week. So all of you, keep following us on a weekly basis, because very soon we'll start to announce about our next courses and services. Anyway, all of you trade Aussie dollar, we hope that you get in this buy and you made profits in this up wave. From these levels, we've got reaction. Again, why these levels? This related to our smart money concepts, market makers' footprints, and retail traders' behavior. Alright guys, we've got this drop, and during NFP, market dropped more. Now, those of you are wondering if we can pick this exact price level, and then take a sell setup from here, yes you can. This is one of our special strategies that we teach in our masterclass course. So, if any of our traders get in the sell, now is the time to manage your trade. With this drop, market looks like will correct upwards for another drop. Make sense guys? So for Aussie dollar, corrective structure upwards for another drop. Dorian for this one, we hope all of you guys get in this buy and made profits here, and last week we said market is going to drop. So if you remember our forecasts, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Guys, your supportive comments and likes will push us to be here every single week to update you about the next move. And at the same time, we'll help YouTube Algo to show our forecasts to more traders. This is the exact way how you found us. So like, comment, and let YouTube show our forecasts to other traders. They might need help. Anyways, for Dolorian, after this drop, market started to go up again. What next? Corrective structure, one to push up, is very possible. This structure here started to be complex. So if you want to leave it for now, you leave it and you focus on other pairs. New Zealand dollar for this one, market went up, right? After this up move, we've got this drop, this is normal, and this part of structures, and this how the algos works. They build liquidity to grab it. Let me repeat that. This how the algos of big banks and liquidity providers work. They build up liquidity to grab it. All right? So every single wave here was for a purpose. So after this up move, correction, up, corrective structure, one push up, market reacted exactly from here, and we've got this drop. Again, in our midweek review analysis email, we said, guys, you choose any major and you short it for NFP. Show me the charts and I'll tell you the news. Some of you are advanced traders, they know this one. So, for New Zealand dollar, what next? We're expecting market to correct upwards for another drop. And don't think that this down wave, it cannot go all the way down to break this low once more. Alright guys, for now, follow us on a weekly basis, step by step, and we will update you. Corrective structure upwards for another drop.
pound yen for this one, we were expecting market to go up to break this top and then reverse. We've got the start of this drop and then up again to break this one once more. So, market stopped here and we started this drop again. We are not convinced that this is the start of the drop. If you are in, you move your stops to break even. Do not close your trade, move your stops to break even and let market unfold. This can push one more up to break the top and then the fall. This up wave is not needed for the structure, which means this can fall exactly from current levels. Make sense? We are best to the downside for pound yen. Yes, oil for this one, market gave us a corrective structure, it went up. Correction here, another up wave. What next? Corrective structure, wanna push up, and from 95 levels, we will see the price action for a big drop. 95, 98 levels. Are we going to trade this up wave? Probably not. Is this a tradable move? It is. Those of you are scalpers or day traders, you can go for this up wave if you know how to trade it. We do not suggest you guys to trade the last wave. We know some of you might be tired from this up wave, but remember guys, you are not controlling the market. You will be tired only if you are over risking, over trading, adding to losing position, or jumping in. If you are day trader, swing trader, position trader, or investor, risk management guys is a key. So, yes oil, we can see it correcting downwards for one push up and then the big drop. Gold, interesting, isn't it? Every single wave of this one. This up move, correction, up, correction, one push up, and we forecasted these three waves in advance, right? We sat here after this up wave, a major shift is expected. And you remember this fold, all of you. Now, last week, we said market will be going up. Market started to go up. So if you get in the buy, you must be able to make money in this up wave, alone and let me shock you now and go with you step by step after this up move market corrects one push up and from here we said guys check the price action at 1.1790 this is the market it dropped here and it went up all the way to break this top let me show you this this is 1790 and this was mentioned in our midweek review email this is the email can you see that, all of you? If you remember these forecasts, this one and this one, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment, guys. After this up wave, looks like market will be pushing up again and then we'll check the price action from these levels. More details about the structure, the pattern, along with the worldwide current situation and where gold might go next will be explained in details by T on this special Sunday session. So do not miss it. Door cat for this one, we know a lot of you get in the buy from here. After this up wave market corrects, another push up. This a corrective structure and market is going back up. What next? Corrective structure, another push up is coming. So all of you are in the buy, you move your stops, you manage your trades, and if you are happy with the profits, you take profits. Now, a special tip for those who are still watching. Wave analysis, is not about trading reversals. Wave analysis will help you no matter what type of trader you are. If you are trading reversals or if you would like to follow the trend, wave analysis, if you learn it correctly, will give you a nudge. All our traders inside our private Slack community, they know that. We have a lot of success stories. You can check them here on YouTube, on our website, and more of them in the near future. Now the tip is you need to find the balance between your personality and your trading style. This will help you a lot. And we suggest you to try to avoid the last wave. So me personally, I don't like to trade the last wave of the last wave. All of this is based on structures, waves, and our own wave analysis concept. But for you, once you see us showing that this might be the last wave, try to avoid trade it.
Silver for this one. Market dropped from here. It gave us this up wave. And then it went back down. Looks like market will be going up again. And then the next drop. For now, focus on this up wave. This down wave will update it later on. At the moment, focus on this up move and let market unfold. Some of you were asking if this is a good level for investment. We don't think so. Silver might go lower and we might break this low, this low and go to 19 or even 16 level. Okay? If you want to invest from here, it's up to you. For us, we will invest starting from 19 level. Myself, I have orders at 19 and lower. Bitcoin for this one, market is going as normal. This is up, this is the correction, and this is the next up wave. So those of you who started to invest again from 34 or higher than that, market started to go up. You manage your trades and let the market unfold. The higher this go, the better it is. Also this Sunday, we'll explain you what after 7th of February. We are expecting something to happen after this date. You are 30, we've got a lot of requests to cover this. Even this is covered on every Sunday, but some of you were liking and commenting to put this one here. So for this time, we are covering it for you. What after this drop, we are expecting market to go at least to these levels. After that, we'll see the price action and we'll update you. With that note guys, I wish you a great trading week. You trade with care, do not over risk, do not overtrade, do not jump in, do not trade without stop loss, and never ever add to a losing position.